Hi, I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today, we're frying chicken, livers that is. And because these are so rich and flavorful, Jessica will be giving us a refreshing cocktail you've probably heard of, only with a bourbon twist. Let's get started. For this recipe, we'll need a pound of chicken livers, two cups of buttermilk, three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon each of paprika, garlic and onion powder, and salt and pepper. So today we are making another southern dish that I grew up with. And so now what was once thought of as more of a rural thing has really proliferated in city restaurants in Louisville because in an effort to be sustainable, people are again using all parts of the animal. So I think that's really cool. I'll take it either way. What we have here are our chicken livers that have been soaking for an hour in buttermilk. You can also soak them overnight if that's easy for you. And if you don't have buttermilk on hand, you can make your own. You can add vinegar or lemon juice to regular milk. With our flour, we're going to add some of our spices. We have the paprika, garlic, that didn't come out, onion powder, and salt and pepper. And this is just our dredging flour. I said it was about three cups for a pound. You can just, this wasn't even measured. You can use your judgment on that. Add more or take away as you need. You can also be a little more heavy handed on the spices if you like it a little more heat. All right, now we're just gonna take our chicken livers, which I've cut in half, by the way, uh, for little bite-sized pieces. I've seen restaurants keep these whole and make it more like an entree. You can do that as well. And we're just gonna simply dredge it in this flour. And we're gonna do this whole bowl full and then take it over the stove. I've got some canola oil heating up to about 350, and we're just gonna fry these babies up. We have a cast iron pan full of canola oil that's heated up to 350. It's really helpful to have a deep fryer candy thermometer to, to make sure how hot your oil is. You can also kind of tell when it starts to smoke up a little bit like that. And then we're just going to add our dredged chicken livers. And we're going to cook these for about two to three minutes on this side, flip them, and about two minutes on the other side. But we're also going to be using a instant read thermometer to get them to an internal temperature of 160, 165. So this hot grease can get pretty unruly. It's really great if you have a protective screen that you can put over the pan while it fries. These smell delicious. Wish you could be here. They fried up to a golden crisp perfection. I'm gonna mix this up a little revelade sauce to serve on the side while Jessica makes our drink. Since we're having fried chicken livers, I wanted to do something light and refreshing for our cocktail today. So this is actually a recipe from a legendary Louisville bartender, Joy Perini, and it's called a burrito. So it's a riff on a mojito, but with bourbon, of course. So naturally we're using new riff bourbon. We've got simple syrup, club soda, limoncello, fresh mint, and some fresh lemons as well. So all we're gonna do is, in a cocktail shaker, without any ice, we're gonna do an ounce of the limoncello. We're gonna do uh, an ounce of the simple syrup as well. And we're gonna take uh, six of our mint leaves. And I've cut my lemon up into wedges, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and squeeze, I've done about four medium size. So squeeze the juice in, and then drop the whole lemon wedge into the shaker. Then we're gonna give this a little bit of a muddle. And now we're gonna go ahead and add two ounces of our bourbon.
oops, it'll be a little extra, so that one's gonna be kind of strong. <laughs> then we go ahead and put ice in our shaker, and we're gonna get this, just a quick little shake to mix everything up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and strain this in a tall glass with ice. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of the club soda here. And just gonna go ahead and garnish it with a lemon wedge and some more of that fresh mint. And straw. So there you got it, it's the bourbon hito. Well, Stacey, I don't know if you knew this, but chicken livers are definitely one of my favorite bar snacks. Really? Yeah, and they go so well with a nice Cold beverage. That's right. Yep. And they've become so popular. Oh, I know. I love it. Again. You can find them everywhere. I, yeah. I love it too. I've always <laughs> liked them. And they just go great with a nice cold beverage. They really do. And you have done it again with this one. It kind of reminds me of the riff that you did on uh, Kentucky Mule. Mm -hmm. I tell you uh, what, bourbon it. goes great in anything. It does. <laughs> and joy. I know. Right? Absolutely. Yep. All the credit for this cocktail is absolutely hers. She was Louisville's original bourbon badass, as she liked to say. Yep. One of the mother of all bartenders. And I miss her. I do share. So this episode is for joy. All right. We'll see you next time on bourbon and biscuits. And cheers. Cheers. Cheers to joy. To joy.